Okay, we back and we recording and we do an episode three. You guys came. All oh, right, I remember. I remember. It said, "Do you want to save?" And then I saved. So we're in the middle of something. Yosuke was gonna go into the TV. I literally recorded episode two earlier today. I'm enjoying this game so much that I'm just I'm continuing it on already. We came to stop you, idiot! Come on, you really shouldn't do this. It's too dangerous. I know, but we were able to come back once, right? If we go in from the same location, maybe we'll meet that bear again. Maybe isn't good enough. Look, I can't just act like everyone else and pretend this has nothing to do with me. I like how he's got a ladle. Like, or is that a golf club? That's true, but... What about you? Could you just walk away? I'm worried about Chie. There's no telling what might happen over there. You voiced your concern over Chie coming along. Your understanding is increased. Yeah, it'll be just you and me. Don't worry, I'm not going in without a plan. Chie, I'm leaving you in charge of this. Huh? What's that? A rope? We'll go in with this tied to me. So I want you to hold on to this and wait here. What? Then this is a lifeline? Come on, wait a sec. Here, this is for you. A ladle. Golf club. Okay, it is a golf club. And medicine, nice. I thought it might be better than going in empty handed. Alright, let's go. There's no use wasting any more time. Chie, whatever you do, don't let go of the rope. Into the Persona world. She's just gonna have to stand there. I thought that would happen. See? I knew this wasn't gonna work. Now what? Don't worry. We'll be okay. She gonna have to come in after us? Can she without me here? <sighs> She might just have to wait. Look, this is the same place as last time. So they are connected from place to place. You guys, why'd you come back? Hey, guy. I get it. You're the ones behind this. You're that thing from last time. Wait, what the hell did you just say? Lately, I can tell someone's been throwing people in here. It's making this world more and more messed up. This is the second time you guys came here, and I don't think anyone forced you in. That means you're the most suspicious. You guys must be the ones throwing the people in here. Don't label us like that. What are you talking about throwing people in? If someone was thrown in here and they couldn't get out, they might die. Who would do such a... Wait a sec. All this talk about someone throwing people in here, does he mean Senpai and the announcer? Did that someone throw those two in here? Hey, what do you think? It must be it. Yeah, I agree. Let's assume he's telling the truth. Could it be that someone's throwing people in here intending to kill them? If that's the case, So, nah, I'm not gonna speculate yet. What are you guys mumbling about? Why'd you come here anyways? It's a one-way door. You can't get out once you're in, remember? Yeah, Oops. whatever. We don't need your help this time. See, this time we have a life. Li what? Hey, you better let us out once we're done investigating here. <laughs> I'm the one who wants to investigate. I've lived here for a long time, but it's never been noisy like this till now. Do you have proof? Prove to me you're not throwing people in here. Um, doesn't work that way. See, so it is you guys. The last time, it's not us. So we've got nothing to prove to you. Hey, you better answer our questions. This isn't like last time when we came by accident. We're dead serious. Listen up. 
because people have died in our world. Every time the fog appears, a dead body shows up with it. It has to be related to this place somehow. If you know something, tell us. A dead body? Whenever the fog appears? I know that if it's foggy on your side, the fog lifts here. It's really dangerous when the fog lifts. That's when the shadows get violent. Ah, I get it. Huh? If you get it, then explain it to us, damn it. If it's foggy on our side, it isn't in here. Shadows get violent? That's why I said to hurry back. It's dangerous when that happens. Okay, no more questions. I know you guys did it. You better stop right now. I told you and told you we're not the ones doing it. I've about had it with you. Why the hell won't you listen to what we're saying? I'm just saying you might be the culprits. I'm just making sure. What? Man, this bear's driving me nuts. What is this place anyways? It looks like a TV studio. Is something being filmed here? Hey, hey, don't tell me. Is that weird show being filmed here? Weird show? Filmed? What does that mean? I have nothing to add to this conversation. Uh, I'm asking if someone's been filming the people that get thrown in here. Eh? I don't get it. This world has always been like this. No one has ever done that filming thing here. Okay. Um, what do you mean? Only me and Shadows are here. I told you before. Shadows and I. Only Shadows and I are here. Look, we don't know what these shadow things are, or what you are either for that matter. You keep telling us to prove our innocence, but you're the most suspicious thing here. Maybe you're the real culprit. And what's with that stupid costume? I'd say it's time you showed your face. Oh! What the hell are you? It's empty inside. <laughs> well, was that painful? Me? The culprit? Nope. I, I guess not. Do such a thing. I just live here. I just want to live here peacefully. <sighs> okay. I'll believe that you guys aren't the culprits. Good, but thanks. I want you to find the real guy who did all this. You have to stop him. Promise me. Or else. I'm not going to let you guys out of here. You little... This can't keep going hmm. on. My home here will be a complete mess. And then... And then... I... <laughs> Great. What are you crying for all of a sudden? Jeez, this thing's really weirding me out. Well, let's go do it. The mysterious bear is asking you... I skipped that. Someone on the outside is throwing people into this world. Oh, there you go. The mysterious bear is asking you to find the culprit behind this. Now X works. If the culprit isn't you, he wants you to find the real culprit. The mysterious bear seems serious about this. Hey, what should we do? Let's do it. Let's find him. You remember what the words of the mysterious old man who called himself Igor. Oh, yeah. It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination. Oh, yeah. And a great mystery will be imposed upon you. I forgot about that. Could this be the mystery that will be thrust upon you? What was that contract Igor spoke of? Could finding the culprit and solving the case be part of this promise? In any case, since you cannot leave the TV world on your own, there seems to be no other option. You're Let's do it. You're the only ones I can ask. Will you promise me? No. I promise. Thank you. Let's get on this bear's Damn good side. Bear, practically holding a gun to our heads. But it's true that we came here to figure things out. So far, we're completely in the dark. Look for the culprit, huh? Bring it on. You got my word too. Might as well introduce ourselves. Yosuke, Yosuke Hanamura. Hanamura. And this is my buddy. Gent player. You got a name? Teddy. Okay. Uh, figures. Great. But how are we supposed to find the culprit in the first place? I don't know. Oh, but I know where the last person came in. The last person? You mean Saki Senpai? I mean the person who came in and disappeared last time. I don't know the name. Well, I'll girl. take you there. You might find clues. Oh, one thing first. You two should put these on. What? What? G glasses? Oh. What are these glasses for? Hmm. 
As you put on the glasses, your vision instantly becomes much clearer. Whoa! Instantly. Did I say instantly? The difference is like night and day. With these on, it's like the fog doesn't exist. They'll help you walk through the fog. Well, I've been here for a long time, so you can rely on me. Uh, okay. But I can only show you where the place is. You guys will have to defend yourselves. What happened to relying on you? Th there better not be any monsters, you understand? We brought weapons, but I mean, they're more for show. We just got here. If it's so dangerous, why don't you do where something is the instead weapon? of relying on us? We brought. I brought a golf club, right? Why, where is it? Uh-uh. No way. I've got no muscles. Oh, oh, I'll give you guys moral support from a safe distance. How's okay. that sound? Okay, sure. Can Teddy, Teddy really not fight? <laughs> Try pushing Teddy. No! <laughs> is this thing for real? This is so lame. We swore to find the culprit, and this is all the backup we get? Oh, yeah. Can I ask you something? Who's this Saki senpai person? Someone you know? <laughs> that doesn't matter right now. Anyways, at least now we know Senpai might have been thrown in here. Maybe we can find more information too. Let's get moving. Yes, sir. What? Wait! <laughs> Alright, we'll help you up. Or will we? Who knows? Okay. What is this place? It looks just like the shopping district. Hmm. What's going on here? Some weird places have appeared here recently. Oh, so this wasn't here originally? Things are getting so tangled. I, I Oops, I didn't mean to skip that. Uh, by the way, why are you standing so far from us? You better not be planning to hightail it if something does come up. <laughs> of course not. I mean, um, I can't stand too close, you know? I get in your way. <sighs> Man, they really went all out on this. But out of all the places in town, why'd they replicate this one? How should I know? This is reality for the one who's here. As usual, nothing you say makes any sense. But if this is our shopping district, we're not far from Saki Senpai's. I knew it! This is the liquor store that Senpai's parents run. Hmm. Does this mean Senpai disappeared here? What could have happened? Uh, Yunishi? Is that what that says? I think? Or am I dumb? Oh no, wait. Oh, Kon Konishi. Konishi? Uh. Unless it's, uh. Um. No, I think that's Konoshi. Oh, whatever. Doesn't matter. Wait a second. They're here! What? Shadows! I had a feeling they were going to attack. Huh? Oh, here comes Shadows? Okay. Hey, bro. Persona. I am thou. thou art I. Yes. The time has come. Open thine eyes and call forth what is within. Ooh, card form, Yu-Gi-Oh style. Persona. Persona. Do it. Persona. <laughs> Juicy. What does he look like? Ooh, that's a sick first persona.
That looks so much cooler than Arsene. <laughs> Arsene's a little boring. I mean, Arsene looks cool and stylish, but yeah. Stay calm and listen. Some shadows have weaknesses. Okay. If you can pinpoint that weakness and take advantage of it, the battle will be a lot easier. I can tell this one has a weakness too. Try stuff out and see what works. When you use an attack the enemy is weak against, it will be knocked down. Compared to other attacks, attacking the enemy's weakness does more damage. If you can knock all enemies down, you'll get a one more attack. Use your weapons and skills to strike enemies' weaknesses and get one more attack to get the advantage in battle. However, if the enemies attack your weaknesses, they get extra attacks too. So always keep in mind your enemies' weaknesses and your, your own in mind. Alright, I see. Okay, so, let's uh... I hold out, I reach out to the truth of my life. I definitely know this song. This is a great song. So let's try uh that those that's just a one foe. Both of them are just a one foe. Alright, let's do Zio against uh this Slipping Harl ha Hab Oh, it's weak to it. Okay. I'll keep track of what attacks have what effects on enemies. You can check known information about the enemy with the analysis command or by pressing the analyze button. Okay, he's down. Awesome. So if I just do zero to the other one. They're both down. One more. Now. Just do a regular attack. And he, this guy's back up. Oh, and he attacked me. That's alright. I'll just finish him off. Bye. So I am just using the golf club. You felt a surge of energy inside after the recent battle. Congratulations, Sensei! Your HP and SP have increased. You are now able to create personas up to level two. Nice. Love it. Love it. Gent player has faded. Oh, has faces of herself. He has overcome the facade used to overcome. He has obtained the facade used to overcome life's hardships. The persona Izanagi. 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 Whoa, what was that? Did I hear you say persona? What was it? I mean, what did you do? Hey, you think I can do it too? Yes, I do. Calm down, Yosuke. You're troubling sensei. I do think you will be able to. Otherwise, this game will just have one character. S sensei? Gosh almighty, you're amazing, Sensei. I am one impressed bear. I can't believe you were hiding such an amazing power. No wonder the shadows were scared of you. <gasps> Are you the one who's able to bring people into this world? Yes. And that's what I thought. This is really something. Don't you think so, Yosuke? Dude, you call him Sensei and then don't show me any respect? Sorry. Well, your support wasn't bad, though. I gotta give you some credit for that. Huh? Really? <laughs> yeah, this guy's a cool guy. He tells it how it is. All right. But he compliments people when you they deserve it. You two keep it up, and I think we'll be fine from here on out. Now let's get back to the investigation. This guy seems very similar to Ryuji from Persona 5. What could have happened to Senpai here? He's a little more chill than Ryuji. Ryuji still has the whole for real thing going on. Voices begin to echo from somewhere. Ugh, I wish Janess would go under. It's all because of that store. What the? Oh, I heard that Konishi-san's daughter is working there. Oh my, how could she with her family's business suffering like it is? That voice sounded very familiar. I heard their sales have gone downhill because of Juness. Stop it. That poor father. To have his own daughter working for the enemy. What a troublesome child. Hey, hey, Ted. You said that this place is reality for those that are here, right? So, does that mean this was Senpai's reality when she wandered in here? I only know about what's over here. Fine. Whatever's going on here, we'll find out ourselves. 
I think I hear my dog barking, which is mildly distracting, but that's fine. Damn what it, is not this? Again. You begin to hear a man yelling. Saki, how many times do I have to tell you? Saki? Is this Senpai's dad? You know what the neighbors say about you, right? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? You're the eldest daughter of a family who's owned this store for generations. Is it the money? Or did you meet some guy there? Just tell me why you have to work there of all places. I, I can't believe this. She seemed like she had fun at work. She never said anything like this to me. Right, so was she actually going through a depressed state because of this You're sort of stuff? me this was how Senpai really saw things? These photos. Hey, is this... It's the photo we took the other day with the other part-timers at Juness. Why is it cut up like this? The scrap of the photo shows Saki Konishi smiling. Konishi! That's what I said! I said it was Konishi! Okay, alright. I'm, I'm glad that's... Oh, my brain was trying to figure out if I was reading the Japanese right. We're all good. Yosuke is standing next to her. I... never had the chance to say it. Is that Senpai's voice? I always wanted to tell Hana-chan. Huh? Me? That he was a real pain uh. in the ass. <laughs> But? I was nice to him just because he was the store manager's son. That's all. Oh. But he takes it completely the wrong way and gets all enthusiastic. What a dick. Is this true? A pain in the ass? Is this how she really feels? Who cares about Juness anyway? No, surely this is... Because of that store, our business is ruined. My parents hate me. The neighbors talk behind my back. This is the... I think this is the depressed Saki talking. Like the... the this is the, what the game's gonna be like. The evil Saki. Oh! It's a lie. What did she this say? This can't be. I wish everything would just disappear. I wish everything would just disappear. There we go. Senpai's not like that. It's so sad. I feel so sorry for myself. Boo hoo! Evil Yosuke? Actually, I'm the one who thinks everything's a pain in the ass. <laughs> Is this how she sees Yosuke? Uh, huh? Two Yosukes? Who are you? I wouldn't think that. <laughs> oh, that art. Right. How long are you going to keep deluding yourself? Screw the shopping district and Juness too. You're sick of everything, especially living out in the sticks. What are you saying? Th that's not true. I. You put on a good show of being carefree and happy-go-lucky because you're so terrified of being alone. The more, the merrier, right? You gotta be surrounded by people to block out the pain of isolation. And what's this about checking out this world for Saki Senpai's sake? Ha! I know the real reason you came snooping. Stop it! <laughs> Why so panicked? I thought I was just spouting bullshit. Or maybe I do know everything you're thinking. Why's that? Because I am you. You just came because you thought it sounded like a good time. What else is there to do out in this shithole? A world inside the TV. Now that's exciting. You didn't have a single other reason for coming here, did you? Don't know if I believe it's that. Not true. Stop. Stop it. You're just trying to act like a big shot. If all went well, hey, maybe you could even be a hero. And that senpai you were so sweet on, her death was the perfect excuse. Uh. That's not true. What are you? Who are you? <laughs> I already told you. I'm you. Your shadow. There's nothing I don't know about you. Screw that. I don't know you. You can't be me, you son of a bitch! Are we fighting <laughs> this thing? <laughs> That's right. Say it again. You're not me. You're nothing like me! Hmm. Yeah, that's right. I am me now. I'm not you anymore, see?
I am a shadow, the true self. I'll crush everything that bores me. Starting with you. Okay. Wind of Oblivion. Oh my gosh, knocked me down instantly. How long can you survive this? This one's much stronger than the last type. Be careful. Okay. Whenever you feel threatened, just defend yourself. All right. During battle, you can choose to defend yourself rather than attack the enemy. Select guard from the battle menu. While defending attacks to your weakness and status ailments can be blocked. If it looks like the enemy is about to let loose with a devastating attack or hit with you with your weakness, be sure to guard. But be careful, for you will leave the defending stats after being hit once. Okay. So, is he about to do it now? I don't think this tells me anything, but... This one's tough! Hey! Okay. So, he might not be attacking me quite yet, so I'm just gonna do a cleave first. Okay, not bad. Yeah, that's just a regular attack by the looks of it. Alright. Is this a heal? That is a heal. I should probably heal. Persona! That's a defense up. Power charge? Okay, now he's charged up, so now I guard. There we go. Wait. That. That was, that was what you charged up for? Surely not. Yes, he's weak. One more. Let's do it again. Bam. Oh, he missed. My defense is reverted. Okay. Um. All right, all right, all right. Let's uh, do, a, do another Zio. Bam, one more. Let's do a regular attack. 25. That's not bad. Not gonna work. He's guarding now. It's guarding its weak point. Interesting. So now I'm just gonna regular attack. It's guarding its weak point. Huh, that's it? Boring. Out of the way. Oh. Oh. Knocked me down. Alright. I still have the medicine he gave me, so I'm gonna drink that. Hopefully, this isn't a bad time to use it. Like this is in a rigged match. It's going to attack. Defend yep. yourself. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Oh, don't worry. All good. Zio. Oh yeah. Bam. Don't underestimate me. Here comes an attack. Defend yourself. Oh. Does, is this does that happen before an attack as well? You're getting to be a real pain. All right, I'm gonna crush you with everything I got. Well, I got it, so it might be all right. Yeah, that's everything you got, little baby boy. Take this. Damn. And now I'm gonna cleave you while you're down. Bam! Forty-two damage. Don't underestimate me. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. I almost got this. I almost got this. Let's get him down. Bam. He's down. One more. Cleave. That finished him. Woo! 100 XP. 3,000 yen. He felt a surge of energy inside after the recent battle. Congratulations, Sensei. Your HP and SP have increased. You are now able to create personas up to level three. Something inside of you has changed. Izanagi has leveled up. N has increased by two. Agility has increased by two. What's N? Strength, magic. N, agility, luck. What's N? Endurance, maybe? I think it might be endurance. I, I, Yosuke, are you okay? Yeah. What happened? You, you're not me. That thing came from you, Yosuke. You have to admit it. 
or it'll go berserk again. So it did come from him. Yosuke seems reluctant to accept it. I thought this was going to be Saki's view of him. You're still yourself. Myself. Damn it. it. Hurts to face yourself. I knew it wasn't lying. But I was so ashamed that I didn't want to admit it. You're me. And I'm you. When you get down to it, all of this is me. The strength of heart required to face oneself has been made manifest. Yosuke has faced his other self. He has obtained the facade used to overcome life's hardships. The persona Jiraiya. This is my persona. When we heard Senpai's voice, I wonder if that was something Senpai had been keeping deep down inside. <laughs> he was a real pain in the ass, huh? What a way to find out. Jeez, this is so embarrassing. That's gonna hurt to hear. If you weren't here, I don't know what would have happened. Thanks. Hey, Teddy. Could Senpai have been attacked by her other self here? Like how it just happened to me? I think so. The shadows here were originally born from humans. Sometimes the fog clears, then they all go berserk. And you saw what happens next. A strong-willed shadow draws others to it, and a big mass of shadows kills the host. So that's why people die when it gets foggy in our world. <sighs> Yosuke's pretty worn out. This world isn't made for humans. It's not comfortable for you here. I don't hear any more voices. I think we're done with this place. Let's go back. Hey, Teddy, you said that this place is reality for people who enter, right? So that shopping district and the weird room we saw before, did they exist because the ones who died entered this world and it became their reality? I guess what I'm trying to ask is, did those places form because of the people who entered this world? I don't know. It's never happened before, but that's probably where they were when the shadows attacked them. Hmm. It was the same for them, I guess I'm saying. The I didn't mean does to do that. Here sometimes. The shadows get really violent then. I always get so scared I have to hide when it happens. I sensed people here twice before, but both of them disappeared after the fog lifted. So let's get this straight. Senpai and that Yamano lady were thrown in here, and since they couldn't get out, they wandered around. After a while, that shadow thing came out of them. The fog cleared, it went berserk, and it ended up killing them. Mm. Does that sound right? So if I'd been here until the fog cleared, I would have been in much deeper trouble? I would have yeah, handled it. I'm pretty sure. You were lucky. Sensei and me were here with you. Damn it. Sensei and I. Senpai and that announcer. We were stuck here all alone. No one could save them. Yosuke. They disappeared when the fog lifted, but they were safe before that. No shadows attacked them. They attacked us, though. Maybe they're keeping a close eye on us. They might see people who investigate this place as enemies. It'll be dangerous, but we might be able to fight them. We might save people. Are you saying if anyone else gets thrown in here, we can save them before they disappear? Like how you guys just saved me? Hmm. We won't know unless we try. Anyways, we need to catch the one who's throwing people in here and make him stop. Yeah, I'm finally starting to understand what's going on. But they could just throw them in from any TV, right? Um, can I ask something too? If shadows are born from humans, what was Teddy born from? Oh, oh, my game froze for a long time there. You don't even know where you came from? 
How should we know? I know some things, mostly about this world, but I don't know anything about myself. Hmm. To be honest, I never thought about it until now. It could be like the culmination of people's hopes. Are you serious? And fears. <laughs> no wonder we couldn't get a straight answer out of you. Will you guys come back here? Combination of people's emotions except for hatred. <laughs> so like fear, but also love and compassion and I don't know. We made a promise. You'll keep your word? Of course. Well, we you're the one who said you weren't letting us out unless we do. Oh, that's right. Okay, I'll let you out. But there's one thing. I'll be waiting for you guys here. You need to come in from the same place every time, so we can meet up. The TV at June's? Juness? You could come in from somewhere else, but then you won't end up here. You might show up somewhere I couldn't get to you. Then you'd be doomed. Got it? Well, pretty much. All right, can you show us the way out? Roger that. One exit coming right up. All right. Do it, boy. There we go. Bye. Cool. First, we need to make sure there aren't any employees milling around out there. TA is going to be so okay, worried. Go, go, go. Squish. Uh, hey, stop squeezing, you little. Ugh. That animation. There it is. Chie! You, you guys came back! And we have glasses now. Huh? Chie? Whoa, what's with that face? Oh, she was worried. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> All right, good. She's relieved. I I think that might have kind of sort of been our fault. Maybe we did go a little too far. Let's apologize to her tomorrow. I'm completely wiped out. I'm going to go home, soak in the shower for a while and get some sleep. I think I'm going to sleep well tonight. Hmm. Well, see you in the morning. See you in the morning. See you tomorrow. Shut up, bud. Near the floodplain while walking home from Junez. Mm hmm? Yukiko. Hey, girl. Oh, are you surprised to see me dressed this way? My parents sent me out on an errand. Um, are you getting used to your new town and school? <laughs> You're talking like an adult. Um, I like it here. Really? But it must be difficult moving to a place you know nothing about. Genuinely, I know nothing about where I came from. I started this game on the train. I've never been out of Inaba, so I wouldn't know what it's like to transfer to a new school. Oh, are you getting along with Chie? I mean, I always leave early. So... Yeah, we're dating. We're getting along. I'm glad to hear that. Chie is very supportive, you know. It's always her who gives me the little extra push I need. We had homeroom together last year, too. And I still remember how we'd cut class sometimes. Oh, I, I should get going. I need to make tomorrow's arrangements with our head chef. Our inn can't function Rich without girl. me right now. Um, I'll see you at school, then. <laughs> All right, catch you later. It's gonna suck to walk in the rain wearing like socks and Dad's sandals. Late.
Our next story is an update in our ongoing report on the bizarre murders occurring in Inaba. At around 7 a.m., local high school student Saki Konishi was found dead in Inaba's residential area. Derek Stephen Prince. My brain just registered his name. I said in part two that I was trying to remember who the actor's name was that this sounds like. And it's Derek Stephen Prince is who I was thinking. And now, I i mean, I doubt it's going to its gonna actually come up, even if he is in this game. I Like, he might not even be credited. But I'm going to Google Darren Stephen Prince, and I'm going to check his Wikipedia page and see if he is in this game. Because if that's him, my... My ear is amazing. I, I can really pick him up out of a crowd. All right, here we go. What's this game called? It's called Persona. Persona 4. It's got a name there. He is in Persona 4, and it says uncredited next to it, but it do, it's not called announcer. So I guess I don't know. So maybe this announcer does have a name, and that's him. Maybe he is this announcer, but also plays a different character, and they just didn't credit him for this. I don't know. All I'm saying is... It sounds like him, and he's in this game somewhere, so I'm since thinking it's him. Since the body was positioned similarly to the last victim, and since Miss Konishi was the one who discovered that body, police are proceeding under the assumption that this may be a serial murder case related to the death of Mayumi Yamano. The coroner's report has established Miss Konishi's time of death at around 1 a.m. last night. The body went unnoticed until this morning as a result of the heavy fog blanketing the area. Another incident. Dad won't be coming home tonight. Sorry. I'll be here with you. I'll be okay. Can you help me do some stuff around the house? Sure. Nanako seems to be very reliable for her age. Sure does. Amagi Inn, located upstream of Samegawa River, is the town's oldest historical landmark. Vacationers are known to travel surprising distances in order to visit its open-air, radium-rich hot springs. After the incident with Miss Yamano, the manager has stepped aside, leaving her daughter Yukiko to fill her shoes. Yukiko's on the TV wearing a kimono. In other words, she's a manager who's still in high school. Now that has a nice ring to it. Let's see if we can interview her. Excuse me! Hmm? Um, are you speaking to me? We've heard that you're the new manager. Is it true you're still in high school? Oh, well, I'm only filling in temporarily. Someday, though. That aside, wow, you're looking gorgeous in that kimono. You must have had a lot of male visitors. Huh? No, um... The reporter's rambling goes further and further off subject. This is boring. Just wait until the commercials. You're going to love what commercial they play today. Oh, I need to do the dishes. Okay, I'll help you. You decide to help out with the housework. You can check your status by pressing the command menu button. What does that mean? This? Status. Gent. Yosuke. He's level 3? Dang. And his persona is level 3. Why is my persona only level 2? This is unfair. Okay. Equip. I have a golf club, a t-shirt. I mean, it's not going to give me anything else yet. Okay. How you going? It goes a lot faster when there are two people washing the dishes. Good. I'm glad. Quiz shows on TV. She's always watching that quiz show. Classic. Classic. Nothing catches your eye. Because it's, the kitchen's organized, if they're, you might be able to make a lunch. Well, yeah, I don't need to. Let's uh, go to the save point. We'll save this real quick. Um, I doubt there's any... I, don't, I doubt we can go inside. Yeah. It wants us to check the TV. Oh, because it's raining. So it's probably... Oh. Can you imagine if it showed Nanako? I would die. <laughs> It's raining tonight. Will something appear on the TV? I would I would cry. It also could show the dad. In other Inaba related news, 
Meteorologists are predicting heavy fog throughout the year. The region has seen an abnormal amount of fog over the past few years, and the cause of the climate change is unknown. Whatever the reason, residents of the Inaba area should be extra careful. Our broadcast tonight was extended to bring you up-to-date news on the incident in Inaba. The time is now midnight. Turn off the TV, bro. There you go. And stare into it. Here we go. The image is there again. Same image? It seems that the conditions are met. You can see it as many times as you want. A silhouette appeared. Seems to be a woman. It looks like she's wearing a kimono. No! Don't. The image is so out of focus that you can't tell who it is. Don't you dare! What would happen if you touched the image on the Midnight Channel? Would you be able to touch the person on screen? The image disappeared. Don't you dare do anything to... What's her name? I can't remember her name, so my words don't hold much weight. But don't. Don't do this to me. You should speak to Yosuke and the others about this tomorrow. You decide to go to bed for tonight. Oh, hey, Igor. And your friend. <laughs> this is... Welcome. Do not be alarmed. You are fast asleep in the real world. I have summoned you within your dreams. It seems you've been summoned to the Velvet Room. And so we meet again. This is a space that only those who have, in one way or another, entered into a contract may enter. Okay. In your daily life, Margaret. you subconsciously heard the call to awaken and you chose to follow the destiny of your inner voice, thereby enacting your glorious awakening to your power. Hold on to this. Obtained Velvet Key. From this night forth, you are our guest in this Velvet Room. Your destiny will require you to hone your power. And for that, you will inevitably require our help. There is but one prize for this assistance. You must abide by your contract and assume responsibility for all decisions you may make. No. I understand. Very well. I don't, The but... persona you have acquired, it is a side of you that shows itself when you face the world around you. It's a side of you that shows itself when you face the world around you. Okay. Perhaps you can think of it as a facade of determination you wear to face various difficulties in life. A mask. Your persona ability, however, is that of the wild card. Compared to that of others, it is very special. Because you can get other persona powers? It is like the number zero. Empty yet holding infinite potential within itself. Special? The persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, yes. your own social links will gradually develop. Dating simulator! The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. This is what's great about persona. Control one's heart. Social links are necessary for more than strengthening your persona. At times, get you they will help light the way to the truth you're searching for. That too. Where will your awakened power of the wild card take you? I look forward to traveling the road of your destiny together. <laughs> I bet you do, weird Till boy. Till we meet again. Till we meet again. Sixteenth of the month, sixteenth of April. 16th of April. It's early morning on the 16th of April. Yo. Yosuke, yo Yosuke. Saw was on last night, right? Yo yo Yosuke. I couldn't tell who it was, but if someone's shown up on TV, we can't ignore it. Let's go check it out after school. Maybe Teddy can tell us something. It's probably the girl. 
It turns out someone was thrown in again. There really might be a culprit behind all this. Even if she's it is not gonna something be at about that place that's killing the victims. She's not going to be at school. If someone's using that world as a weapon. That's unforgivable. We need to find the culprit, no matter what it takes. She's not going to be at no school. There's no way the police can do it. Who believe that the murderer kills people by throwing them into the TV? <laughs> you do it. <laughs> I want to keep my word too. Totally. A promise is a promise. You know, I tried sticking my head in the TV last night the way you did, and it actually worked. Hmm. I think I can do that now because I have the same power. Persona, wasn't it? Could be that we got this gift from someone specifically so we could solve the case. Then again, you managed to go inside the TV and get your persona first. I feel like. As long as you're with me, I can find the culprit and crack this case. Well, let's do our best. Ganbarimas. Let's go to school and find out the girl's not there and find out she's about to die. Even with so much mystery swirling around, Yosuke's trying his hardest to move on. You sense the fate stirring a friendship between you and Yosuke's social link? Woo! Thou art I. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a new bond. It brings thee closer to the truth. Thou shalt be blessed when creating personas of the magician Arcana. Ooh, baby. As you form a bond with Yosuke, you feel the power in your heart strengthening. You recall Igor's words. The persona ability. I, we just saw this. The yeah, yeah. Social links. Is this bond with Yosuke what Igor was talking about? You have established Yosuke Hanamura's social link with the Magician Arcana. Yosuke's determination in battle has been enhanced. Yosuke can now wake up and knock down an ally during battle. Your ally may help someone who's knocked down and get back on their feet. Awesome. That would be so exciting if we didn't just find out our classmates probably going to do this. Oh no, she's looking panicked. Uh, gee, um, about yesterday... We're sorry we worried you. She doesn't care. Never mind that. Is Yukiko still not here? Oh, no. Huh? Y yukiko san? Uh, no. At least I haven't seen her today. Did Chie see it clearly? Because she saw. See, she said that she saw Saki pretty clearly in the TV. So maybe Chie has a special ability to be able to see people clearly. Oh, man. What should I do? Hey. Is that stuff you were talking about for real? No. All that about how people showing up on the Midnight Channel is related to that other world. Oh, we were just talking about that. We're thinking of checking it out later. The person on TV yesterday? I think it was Yukiko. That kimono looked like the one she wears at the inn and she wore it during that interview a few days ago too. Okay, so she just saw the kimono. I got worried, so I emailed her last night, but... She hasn't responded. She might not have seen it any more clearly, but it's just our character's clueless when it comes to clothing. <laughs> I called her earlier in the evening, though, and she said she'd be at school today. I... Calm down. We get the picture. And you still haven't heard from her? No. You summed up the information you gained in that other world for Kachie. What's that supposed to mean? Wait, are you saying Yukiko was thrown in there? Possible? We don't know yet for sure. We should check to see if she's safe first. Give her another call. I don't want her to die. I don't want Yukiko to die. No good. Her voicemail picked up. She, she's not answering. Are you serious? Then is Yukiko-san inside that place? Something must have come up, like an errand or something. Oh, or she might be helping at the inn. She wouldn't be able to answer her cell if that's it. Yeah, but would she skip school for that? Well, I'll give the inn a call. Um, I've got the number here somewhere. Couldn't hurt. Come on, Yukiko, pick up. Oh, is this Yukiko? Thank God she's there. 
and she had to help out. What? Yeah. Oh, now that I think about it, this has happened before too. At least once a year. <laughs> she sounds like Lucy Christian all of a sudden. It's not, right? I, I'm once again going to be... I'm once again googling uh, a voice actress. Well, a voice actor. But I just... I don't think it's her because normally I hear... Lucy Christian more in her roles. But just a few of her lines lately have sounded a lot like it. So let me just check. Video games? Nope. Not her. Maybe I should just look up who it is. Okay. I'm wasting time in the video, but it's worth it. It is absolutely worth it to, uh, to find out who this is so that it doesn't drive me crazy for Possibly the rest of the game. I think it will drive me crazy for the rest of the game if I don't do it. Alright, here I go. Um, I, I'm going to try not to spoil myself. I'm going to absolutely not spoil myself. There's no way I'm going to spoil myself. Um, how do I not spoil myself? <laughs> I could just look up Chie voice actor. Chie voice actor. It is Tracy Rooney. Oh, hang on. But, uh, um, um, oh, or Aaron Fitzgerald. Tracy Rooney played her in what? In where? Tracy Rooney, Tracy Rooney, Tracy Rooney. It is hard to find this information. Oh. Uh. Okay. All right. So I think I think Aaron Fitzgerald. Aaron Fitzgerald did it, which I'm pretty sure Aaron Fitzgerald is bloody um. Uh, Junko, isn't she? Oh my gosh, it's, I'm wasting so much time doing this. I'm I'm gonna stop in a second. I'm gonna stop looking at all this. It's just very interesting to me because I um. I find this very interesting. Okay, in this game she is Chie. Maybe she wasn't in the original and that's what's getting confusing. But I feel like, yeah. No, yeah, okay, good. And yeah, she's also Junko. Nice, that's why I know her voice. She said she'll be at the end tomorrow too. She, Aaron Fitzgerald got a crazy range. So I actually like mostly will not recognize her voice. She's got an insane she range. She was totally fine. And you were all, you could go sign inside that place. <laughs> She's also very funny. Sorry, but there is a reason we thought that. Oh, yeah? What? Well, we thought people show up on the Midnight Channel because they're already over in that world. Yeah, that's I mean, what I thought. It makes sense, right? People show up on TV because they're inside the TV. But Yukiko-san's still here in our world. We might want to see what this is about. All right, let's meet up at Juness after school. I think we should go to the inn to, to make sure that A A Akiko, is that her name? Did I already forget her name? That she's there. Yukiko? That sounds too similar to Yosuke. You explained to Chie in detail what happened last night. Okay, I think that's more than enough about my sorry escapades. If I hadn't seen the place firsthand, I'd never have believed a story like that. Yeah, no kidding. Anyways, we need to know what's going on inside. There's people around. Yeah. Too bad there's so many customers around. I forgot there's a sale in the electronics department today. What if someone bought this TV? Oh, I guess they could probably just go into this to TV. That teddy guy? I got it. Come here a sec. Try sticking your hand in and calling him over. I bet that bear's wandering around the entrance anyway. Hey, Chie, stand over here. Make a wall with me. A wall? You tried beckoning Teddy over. 
Something bit you. What's wrong? Shh! Not so loud, you idiot! Oh, you're much louder. Dude! Is that a bite mark? Are you okay? <laughs> I think I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm glad I chose that that option. That was such a sweet response. Like she was hey, genuinely worried about me. We know you're in there. Oh, oh, is this a game? No, it's not a game. Can you sense anyone inside there right now? Who's anybody? I'm a lonely little bear, like always. This land feels so barren. Okay, Monokuma. Shut it. So there's no one inside? You're sure? I'm not lying. My nose is running as good as ever. Hmm. I'm going to go warn Yukiko anyway. Since she'll be busy this weekend helping out at the inn, Yukiko. I doubt she'd go anywhere alone, but still. Yeah. You'll walk with her to school on Monday. Oops. Sure. I'll go pick her up at her house. Maybe we'll find out more on tonight's Midnight Channel. Cross your fingers that I'm this so is scared. all just a misunderstanding. What's your cell number? I'll, I'll call you when I watch it tonight. Ah, oh, you want my number, do you? Oh, all right. You exchange cell numbers with the OSK. I guess we're going on a date. All right. Don't forget to watch tonight. <laughs> Imagine if you forgot. Is it you're definitely raining tonight? Was it really Yukiko who appeared last night? You need to watch the Midnight Channel again tonight. After school. Kogako. Looks like we found all we're gonna find here. And we've still got nothing that points directly to a suspect. We don't even know if this is a homicide. His sprite is one of the coolest. Well, what else could it be? There's no way a body could end up like that by accident. <sighs> I know. We haven't found the cause of death for the first Vic. Now we got a second one just like it. If this is a murder case, there's no doubt we're dealing with a single perp. But if that's true, what the hell's going on? You know, I thought at first this all spun out of that love triangle. That's the voice actor I know. No, that singer, Misuzu Hiragi, has a solid alibi. She was performing overseas, and her phone records prove it. And remember, the only reason the scandal went public was because Hiragi herself broke it to the media. No one would put themselves under suspicion that way if they had murder on their mind. Got a point there. Same with Taro Namatame, her husband. No matter how much we shake him down, nothing links him to the murders. He's been working in the city for the past six months. Seems he was here recently because of the scandal, but he was swamped with work back home at the time of the incident. Mm -hmm. There are eyewitnesses and other evidence placing him at his office the night that Mayumi Yamano died. And we can't find anything that shows Yamano making contact... Oh, I keep skipping things. You hear Namatame's career has also been killed stone dead? He's been fired from his position as secretary. Gosh, I know his voice. He's practically as much of a victim as the Yamano girl. Is he an MHA? Yeah, I agree. Then we have the second case regarding Saki Konishi. She's the one who discovered Yamano's corpse. But I don't buy the killer shutting her up as a possible motive. She was killed well after she reported the body and the culprit didn't hide her. It's like they were meant to be found. The only other connection is that she attended the same school as the daughter of the inn where Yamano was holed up. But that hardly points to a motive. And coincidences like that are common in a town as small as ours. Yeah, I heard about that angle on the news too. What? Is the story about the inn out already? Okay, I got it. How's this? Maybe there was something about the corpse that only Saki Konishi knew. And our perp killed her to keep whatever it was from leaking out. 
Oh. Either way, all we can do now is keep investigating anyone involved with the victims. I already said in a previous episode I thought it was the guy from Blue Exorcist, who's the brother in Blue Exorcist. I remember saying that when that character first appeared. He's he's something more prolific than the brother in Blue Exorcist. For some reason, that's the only picture that's popping in my head right now. But he's a he's a popular voice actor other than that. Our perp. It has to be someone in Inaba. Oh, is your detective's intuition at work? Are you gonna solve the case, man, or? Or are you just n only there in the story to eventually die and leave Nanako to me? Welcome home. Thank you. Well, since I'm home, might as well save the game and end the video there. So, thanks for joining me. This game's good. Um, as Persona games go, I've only played one Persona game. <laughs> as the Persona game that I've played has gone, this is about as slow as the as Persona 5 was from memory but that's okay because it's a very interesting story so uh, I'm liking it